before I get into the heart of the protocol, I want to talk about oxidative stress, free radicals, and inflammation, of course, which are all related to each other. Uh, some of the greatest doctors who are still walking around this planet have investigated these things. Dr. Bert Berkson, for instance, who was licensed by the FDA to investigate the um, intravenous administration of ALA, alpha lipoic acid. He's done some excellent work and we see that the, these things, the inflammation like uh, diabetes and disease of the pancreas, when the oxidative stress is hitting the pancreas more than other organs, then you'll naturally end up with disease that uh, suggests diabetes. If there's too much oxidative stress and inflammation in the heart, we'll have heart disease. If we have it in the brain, then we have neurological problems. So this is, a, this is a central issue that we need to address. We need to bring back down the inflammation. So how do we do this? How do we, how do we really nail down a universal, concrete way of approaching these problems that's independent of our opinions? Now, many doctors have been looking for alternatives. Doctors are not really stupid. You, you, you can't be stupid and get into medical school. Though the, they can teach you how to be stupid because they can hypnotize the, the students and force them into certain ways of thinking that they would not naturally come to themselves, like the using of um, poisons. What we're going to do is find the substances that we can turn to that are going to help our patients all the time, meaning we're not going to have to deal with the side effects. We don't have to deal with the dangers. We know we're going to help them.